I have two pictures I want to show you. Okay? I wonder if you remember I played this game with you at the start of the year. I'm going to show you these three pictures. I want you to think about what they are. And then I want you to think about what's the thread that goes through all of that. Don't shout it out. I know you can see what it is. I want you to think about what it is and what it will have in common with the next two things I'm going to show you. Are you ready? So here's the first one. It's a bit dark. Let me turn this off. And that's the machine with someone. Can you see it? They don't look dead to me. Okay, alright. Just have a look at it. Just think about it. So don't these things like make sure you Um I know what the answer is, you don't need to tell me. I want you to think about it. No, I'm sorry. Okay, I've got it. We'll come back to discuss this in a second. I just want you to look at it. Last one. There we go. That's okay. It's all right. I want this conversation to happen quicker rather than slower. Anyhow, let me just rewind. Here's down. This is a speedometer. What does a speedometer tell you? It tells you how fast you're going in kilometers per hour. Okay, good. This is an ECG, it's what it's called, an echocardiogram. It works out, among other things, it works out what your heart is doing and particularly how quickly it's doing it. What do you think that 100 means? It's how many times your heart is beating every single minute. Okay. And then lastly, what's that? These are prices at a petrol station. But what do these numbers mean? What do these numbers mean? It's cost, right? You might even be able to see that just there. It's cents per liter, okay? You with me? Alright, now. Frank, could you turn the light off for me, please? The heading I'd like you to make is. Rates. Okay. So this is underneath where you did your review questions. And underneath this heading, by the way, the date is the 21st, if you haven't written it already. I want you to remember our definition, which is very close but related, to ratios. Do you remember ratios we done last week? Ratios are, now just think about it, think about it. I might say something's one to two or three to five, right? Ratios are a comparison between what? what are they comparing? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So ratios are a comparison. Yes, please. Yes, I know, which you would have known if you paid attention and heard that I was reminding you of something you did last week. Ratios are a comparison between two similar quantities. Right? They could be like centimeters and meters, for instance, or cents and dollars. Same kinds of things. They might be different units, but they're measuring the same thing. Rates are just a little bit different. Rates are a comparison between two quantities. Different quantities. So think about those three things you just looked at, right? Do you remember the three things? The first one was a speedometer. It's comparing two quantities that are different to each other, right? For example, kilometers and hours, right? So look, there's a distance, a length unit, and a... What's this measure? This is time. Speed is distance over time. Okay, that was an example. What was the second example? The echocardiogram. What two things was it comparing? Heartbeats per minute. Heartbeats, which is... BPM. Yeah, beats. And again, it's another time one. We measure with time a lot. So beats per minute. Right? Actually, this is example two. Okay. And then what was the last one? What did we look at? Yeah. Um, how much per litre? Very good. And we measured the how much, the cost in... Um, dollars? I think we measured in cents. Cents per litre. Okay. So you can see each time I'm comparing two quantities, still, just like ratios. 
But this time I'm comparing things that are different to each other, like money and capacity, or beats and minutes, or kilometers and hours. Okay. So this is a really simple idea. You may sometimes need to convert things. For example, Frank mentioned, what if it were dollars, right? How would you turn something from cents per litre into dollars per litre? For instance, I just paid about 131.9 cents per litre just a couple of days ago for my petrol. So what would I do to this number to convert it into, yeah? Divide it by 100. Divide by 100. Do we all agree? Yes. I think so. So that would turn into a dollar... 319 per litre. Do you agree? I suppose we could round that. 32. A dollar 32 per litre. What if I didn't want to know the cost per litre? What if I wanted to know the cost per mil? What would I do then? What if I wanted to go from cents per litre, cents per litre, to whoops, cents per mil? What will I do to this? Yeah. Okay, let's just see what happens if I times by 100. Okay, multiply by 100. Uh, this looks like it's going to become one hundred and thirty-one dollars and ninety cents per mil. That's an expensive petrol. What have we done? What's gone wrong? Is, is it really? Change both numbers by hundred, but won't that stay the same kind of units? No. Let me ask you this: Is it cheaper to is it cheaper to buy a mil or a liter? Liter. Really? Both exactly the same. Is it cheaper to buy five mils of petrol or five liters of petrol? Five liters. Five 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 is it cheaper? I think I should get five mils. That's a lot less, so I'll pay a lot less. I didn't ask if it was practical. I asked if it was cheaper, because that will tell me what I should do with this number. How many mils are there in a liter? Think, think, mils, liters. It's a thousand, right? So I'm pretty sure I should divide. Have I done it right? Yeah, I have. There you go. Does that sound more reasonable? That's a small number, because mills are small. 